Welcome to America. Federal agents and fully armed local police teamed up for a major raid in Venice, California, but it wasn't drugs they were looking for. And what they proceeded to do was take about 800 gallons of raw milk and pour it down the kitchen sink. This week's raid is the latest battle between Ross and Foods, an organic food co op, and health officials. The Food and Drug Administration says that they are protecting people from the health risk of drinking unpasteurized milk. But members of Rossum sign a waiver saying they'll take that risk. Raw milk doesn't have lactose intolerance, it doesn't have allergies, where pasteurized milk has lots of lactose intolerance and lots of allergies. Despite that, the operator, James Stewart, and two others were arrested and are facing several charges, including conspiracy and processing milk without pasteurization. This extensive search warrant shows that investigators have been keeping a very close eye on Rossum for the past year. It's an investigation which has taken up many man hours and plenty of U.S. tax dollars. As citizens, we all should rise up. People protesting the crackdown are outraged at what they see as government going overboard. We pretend like we're fighting for our freedom, uh, you know, overseas, and we're losing our freedom here for simple, simple things like let's just grow our own food. Last year, Rossum was also raided. This video of officers with guns drawn drew nationwide outrage. Mark McAfee, a raw milk dairy farmer, is angry that the industry is being pursued so aggressively and points to the influence that large corporations have on government regulators. It's not dangerous to the public. It is dangerous to the agricultural interests, interests that want to capture all the milk and not have anybody drinking uh, anything other than pasteurized milk. The raid comes just as one of the largest food producers in America, Cargill, is recalling millions of pounds of meat, which may be causing people to get sick. And that's linked to one death in California. So far, no reported illnesses from the food at Rossum. Today, the only thing that supporters of the raw food movement are sick of is people telling them what they can or cannot put in their mouth. If we sit back and do nothing, then we're basically saying, go ahead and take our rights, decide what we get to put in our bodies. Go ahead and decide. Like, I'm not going to let somebody else arbitrarily decide. And so Paul and many others here say they will continue fighting for their right to plant, eat, or share what they want. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.